Leo, come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home. My name's Jen Dawson. Welcome to Jen TV. All right, Leo, I have been meditating on this. No, I don't want that deck. Hang on, this deck. I've been meditating on this. And what came out was don't leave me. So, Leo, don't leave me, huh? Let's take a look at what that means. What have you got for us, please, universe? What have you got for Leo? Don't leave me. Bear in mind, my loves, these are general readings, so it's not going to resonate with all of you. But if it does, take a look at the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon if you want to watch extended videos. There's also a link to my website if you want to book a private reading. I only book private readings via my website. You have to come to me. You will not get a reading with me in any other way. I won't ever come to you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Woo! I start to go live on Thursdays now, so tomorrow. 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'll be going live. With my lovely moderator, Nikki Fruit Loops. Yeah, don't leave me. weird the first card to come out is like really holding on to something tight there this is heavy oh no i'm not even looking at the cards just the it's a heavy reading it's it's heavy guys so yeah four of pentacles that's the vibe i i don't want to let you go don't leave me. I don't want to let you go. We have a future. And I see it. And I'm not going to let you go. What you need to know right now. Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords is. It's a card of torment and. Uh, Traditionally, it's somebody sitting up in bed with swords above them and, and they're stressed, they're distressed, they're anxious. This person's hands are tied. This is them. This is not you. This is them. And that kind of came to me as soon as I said my hands are tied. And then I realized that's them saying it. I have to leave you. My hands are tied. I don't have another option. But you're like, this is us. This is soul deep. How can you leave? We're, we're meant to be. I have to go is what they're saying. I have to. I don't have another option. Tell me more. They're unhappy. They can't make it work with the person they're with. They're desperately unhappy. But they don't have another option. Why? Why don't they have another option? I'm not really making that very clear. <sighs> Five of Cups. You're the Two of Cups to them. The two of cups is behind them. They're putting you behind them. You're the what is wonderful left to look forward to. And they turn their back to you. They're looking at those three cups that are spilled. It's, there's nothing left in them but duty. My hands are tied.
can't take your cups of love. I have to hurt you. I have to set you free and I have to hurt you. Why? Come on, it's not really, this is not clear. Why do they have to hurt you? Why do they have to set you free? Why do they have to hurt you? Because I'm a freaking martyr. Ace of Cups in reverse. There's an obstacle in the way. What? Tell me more. The devil. So it ain't good. <laughs> Whatever it is. Something that's rotten inside. Something that's toxic. Um uh, a very unhealthy relationship with someone who uh ooh, I'm not getting good vibes there that's this is someone who is relying on them uh but is cruel to them cruel's not the right word doesn't doesn't resonate fully in me as I say it. Resentful. Someone who's a, ooh, it's like they hold their bitterness inside and any opportunity that they can to bring it out and say, look what you did to me, like a warm cake from the oven. They, they revel in it. Will you just leave it to me like you always do kind of thing I'll deal with it like I always do you're never there sort of getting that vibe or like they're holding something against them from the past they they bring it up every time Be one little mistake, something. You couldn't be there for an event. An mm. event of great magnitude. You were late to something, a birthday party or... It's something that they've put great importance on, that they're deeply resentful for. And bring it out. Yeah, I'm going to throw it in your face again. They, this is a... This is a karmic relationship! Your person, we yeah, are in a karmic relationship. Am I looking at a twin flame reading? I hope not, I hate twin flame readings. <laughs> for you, I hate them for you. I, I, for me, I don't hate it doing it, it's, it's, like, you know why I hate it? Because I care, and I don't want you going through the pain of a twin flame connection. It's, oh my god, it's soul crushing, soul destroying, and I don't want you to have to go through it. And it looks like it is, so, so you've been abandoned for the karmic, and the karmic hates them. And they love you. The comic doesn't love you. They, they love you. I'll, I'll just shut up. Okay. My hands are tied. You're my two of cups, but I have to turn my back on my two of cups. And operate in loss operate in the energy of nothing loss anything else all right hold on i'm gonna swap decks anything else leo needs to know right now oh. 
<sighs> I don't know why I'm yawning. Is it something to do with the energy of the reading, perhaps? Oh, shizzle. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, yeah, so it's like, it's just. All right. Hold on to your britches. Here we go. So, this person. Holding the purse strings. This person, they can't leave their comic because all of their money, all of their wealth, everything is tied up in this person. And they're trying to find a way out. A get out cause. My hands are tied. I think that speaks for itself. Anxiety. Oh my god, my phone's about to run out of batteries. Hold on, plug it in. Oh, and it was eleven eleven when that went through. Okay, they're looking for a get out clause. My hands are tied. You understand this, Leo? My hands are tied. I can't leave this person, but. I'm trying to find a way out, a get out clause. How do I do this? Moving forwards, the Hierophant. Hmm. Why is the Hierophant here? Sorry, I need the light from my computer to illuminate my... Yeah, I'm not wearing makeup or anything. I'm. Felt like not catfishing you guys today. <laughs> this is moi. So I need a bit of illumination. Check these. Luggage, honestly. I love sleeping. And I maybe overslept. It's okay. All right, why is the hero front here? a committed relationship with somebody who has a hold over them um, this was a decision they made when they got into this relationship with this person and very naively made this decision as well and they thought they were so clever it seems like they got into this relationship with this person uh, they got a silly idea into their head, looking with the illusions here that... This person isn't going to hurt me. This, For some reason they got it into their head that this person wouldn't hurt them, they would be happy with them, they could settle down and have the family with this person. This person is uh, stable, uh, or was, young, stable, had a good job. They weren't like a gold digger. They weren't looking for a good time. They seem like they had their, you know, a good head on their shoulders. At the time, I it, it made a lot of sense, but I think they naively went into this. Why? Why, why naively? They got very hurt in the past from somebody else, somebody Somebody really broke their heart. Somebody betrayed them. Somebody uh, pulled the wool over their eyes is what I'm hearing. Tricked them. Um, oh yeah, this, this is a... This is a nasty piece of work. 
maybe this person stole their money, stole their livelihood somehow, took from them and uh, it's almost like they handed it to them and they felt foolish for it. A trickster, a liar, a uh, parasite. Oh yeah, woo! This is a pattern of this other person's life. They're parasitic and that's they're, they're going to move on to the next and move on to the next. And that's what they're always going to do. Oh dear. So. This seems like this broke their heart and they uh, went for something safe. I don't think they really loved this person. I think it just felt safe and maybe that that's why it felt safe because because they didn't love them in the same way it was it I think they felt that if they fell in love with someone deeply they they, they could have a power over them and this person's never had a power over them until now what power have they got over the money yeah Leo, what do you think is going to happen? What do you think? What does your intuition tell you is going to happen? Something inside of you saying that this is your person. Well, this is Twin Flame reading, isn't it? Of course it is. Your intuition is telling you that no matter what you do, this person is in your life. They're not talking to you, are they? I just got throat chakra. A hiccupy energy is what I always get. They're not talking to you, are they? You don't want this person to leave your life, and they have. They've gone back to this other person. What does your intuition tell you? You know they're coming back, right? I don't need to tell you that. You you know it. Listen to yourself. I'm a priestess. You're not expecting it, but you know it. There's a difference. But there's somebody in the way. Oh, there's somebody in the way. You know this is your person. You're not expecting it. You just know it. You're not sort of sitting there going, well, you know, it's about time they got here. You're just like, oh, it's going to happen, it's going to happen. I, I know it's going to happen, so we'll just wait for it to happen. You, in the energy here, you're hoping, wishing and hoping and praying, and you know that there's light at the end of that tunnel. You know that this is coming in. What you wish for, what you hope for, it's coming. You're balanced now. You don't want this person to go. You love them. You're saying, I don't want you to go. I'm holding on to you. Because I see that we have a future. But you pull back. You know they're coming. So you pull back your energy. You don't wish. You don't yearn. You don't hope. Whatever. You do. But stop the yearning energy. I miss you. I love you. Come back. Stop with that. Pull that back. You just know. You know they're coming. So sit on your laurels and wait. Or don't wait. Don't wait. Seriously, don't wait. But yeah, you can rest knowing they're coming. Them, their energy. Oh, there's a little bit of a delay. Tell me a little bit more. What's the delay to this new beginning with this person? Hold on, I'm coming. If you ever feel sad, lean on me. Dad's bed. They're coming. They're just they're tr trying to make a decision. What they have is not their wish fulfillment. It's not what they want. You are. Hold on. They're coming. There's delays. Tell me more about these delays. There's some kind of deception going on. 
Well, when the deceptions discovered and found out they're free. So there's outcome here. Four of Cups in reverse. Oh, I'm sitting funny. Oh, hang on. All my muscles hurt and I don't know what I've done. Like right here, right here. What have I done? Oh, So the outcome is the Four of Cups. This is like a missed opportunity. Tell me more. Missed opportunity. Ha! Ha! Manifest that in. Bring it in. Bring it on in. I'm manifest you back. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna manifest you back into my life, there, Leo. Because I can't live without you. You're not a lost opportunity. Justice. Just got to get those scales in balance first, all right, Leo? Just got to... Just hold on. I'm coming. Just let me balance those scales out. All right? That's what they're saying. Oh, look at this. What have you got here for Leo? Do, 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 do. Hold on, that's your song. Uh, hold on. I uh, actually can't remember who it's by because I'm terrible. I know that my ex husband's band used to play it, they were a band called the Kilometers. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Yeah, Leo's significant other. Express your love. Yeah, it's coming. They're freeing themselves. They're coming. I just see two, 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 two on it. What's that? Incredible harmony. Just as I'm kind of getting there. I am going to take this into extended in one minute where I'm going to ask how this person, how this person pe peels about you, how this person feels about you. How this person feels about you? Where are you, you in their heart space? What do they want to say to you? What are their intentions towards you? And some guidance from the universe. The energy is gaining momentum. Oh yeah, this reading is gaining momentum. I'm freaking loving it. It's time to release negative energy. Oh yeah, I've enjoyed this reading. Hang on a minute. Yo, your, your, your song of the day is uh, Hold On. By somebody who I can't remember. I'm terrible. Tell me in the uh, comments below. Thank you very much. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And if you want to watch the extended, take a look in the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon. You'll find the video there. Bye.